drop a like and do share leave your comments and do not forget to subscribe for more videos hello and welcome to edupedia world welcome to sap ui5 training session in this session we're going to see how the resource model is used so basically we will be seeing resource model and xml data how the xml will work xml is used for normally integration and the resource model is used for text so display the text so text in the sense suppose if you have developed an application in us and you want to open that application in germany then the localization can do a pick a local language and display the text so how we're going to maintain that we're going to maintain in resource model we'll see that now so we'll go to code first we'll see how xml works and then we'll move to resource model first we have already created a matrix desktop form so in this we have used data from the resource so here is the table we have used a json model like this now how are we going to do the xml model similarly what we have to do is we have to create first a file xml file so we're going to right click this and we'll say new and we'll be using a file that is xml file we're going to use So we'll write a mock data dot xml. So we'll say finish, and we'll create xml data. So how we're going to create xml data? So we always have to use like tags. So that is the difference between HTML and XML. XML is nothing but HTML. We have a predefined tags, and when it comes to XML will not have any predefined tags. We have our own tags. We can define our own things and then we can display. So XML data. So we'll say just data and we'll close this data and then we'll create an entry. So what it is in the JSON, we'll do the similar fashion. So we'll use this first it's model data and inside the model data we have so one second yeah we have a model data and then we have to create this last name and the value inside this last name like this so inside we have replacing the value so here we can give the value like the name and the name next we'll be giving a name yeah. and the name will give some value uh, like Richard more Like this, we'll give. Like this, we have to create. So we'll be creating. And before we do, we have to start. Like HTML in HTML, we have something called a version. Like this. Similarly, we'll be having for XML. So how about is that XML? This is what. So it's question mark XML and version 1.0. Okay, it means that it is XML data. Now we have created this two and we'll go here that is checked and everything so we're going to make use of this 
and will convert into XML. Checked. Once it is done, once you do and do like this, check comes. So this is a good advantage of XML. So we got the value and once you go this text like this and we're going to do it for href as well. Yeah. This is how we create. You have to know once I'll show you one example and how to create this XML data, then you can do it by yourself. So next is source. And we're gonna close this source and then we're gonna do it for the gender. Yeah, gender, gender is male. And there is no double quotes, it should be like this. Yeah. And rating is 4 and this is 4 here we're gonna place and we're gonna save and we're gonna format it Control shift f will do formatting so we have done last name name chat link text and then we have got href and then we got src then we got gender and rating so here what we're gonna do is in table view.js we're gonna use XML data, XML model. So how we're gonna do it? This lines will change. SAP UI dot model dot XML. Yeah, XML dot XML model. Once we have this model ready, see XML dot XML model. We have done and now we're going to load data from this model so it will be mock journal extension will be xml then like this only we are doing so we're going to see this and we'll put how to put a breakpoint that is we're using debugger debugger will put normally the breakpoint will come like this the breakpoint how you put inside the files like this you write debugger so i'm going to change now because here it is table view should come so i'm going to use table here table.js it will look for yeah. now i'm going to run the application so i'm going to refresh this so there is no data so why there is no data we will see that should be in the network we'll see and even the debugger it comes and we'll be seeing yeah see the debugger like this it comes so we're going to load data so the network will go and call that xml that is still pending and once we do next still the model is pending so so once it's done so xml model is loaded one second yeah the script okay so once you go this this is the one and what we're gonna do is we're gonna display whatever the data comes True. This is for asynchronous. So it will be loaded first and then I'll tell you the difference now. We'll see it here now. So when it's loaded, now we'll see the network. So it's still pending, but it's not loaded. This XML will be loaded, but not JSON or anything. It will be loaded once the page is loaded. Still, that time it will be pending only. See the next line. See, still it will be pending. Once it comes out of this state is pending. Once it comes out of the function and displays the view, that time it will be loaded. You can still check. 
can still check the network tab. So it's still pending. View should be completely rendered. That then only your this will come. So now see, it's loaded. Okay. Now we'll see what information we are getting there. How to see that is. I'll tell you how to load the model here itself. Okay. I'm going to save this and how to display your model data is here O model. We're going to do that. So how to display the data, whatever coming in the model is console.log o model to dot get data. So this means it will fetch the data and displays. So we are trying to display. So we'll put the table here like that only. And we're gonna refresh now. We'll clear the console and we'll run this. And when we say execute, see now in the console, there is nothing. So we're gonna clear this console like this. And then we could put the next one. Yeah, it now it has to display the data. What data it is? So we are going to the console. There is no data. That is empty. Means the file is not loaded. So how to resolve such issues? We'll see now. So I'm going to complete the debugging, and then we go to the source. So how to load the file when it executes this? instruction not when the file is loaded okay that's the reason in no data we have a callback functions okay so in this we don't have any callback but we can do asynchronous and synchronous too so how are we going to do it we have to check we have to go to demo kit api references and we have to go to ui model.json or xml we'll go to xml and once we do a load data, XML model, and once we do load data, there is something called synchronous. So we go to load data. By default, it is true. So what we have to do, we have to do false. If this is the request should be asynchronous or not. Default is true. Means it only achieve when the load, when the view is loaded. So we're going to do here load model comma false. So once we do false, so it should be loading it straight up. So we'll run our application now. So we'll refresh. Once we refresh, it should go to that point and F10. Now we'll see the model it doesn't come. When we see say next, now we'll go to the network. See, still it is pending. Yeah, now we'll see. So it's still pending. We'll do F8. Now we'll see the console. Still, the data is not coming to that. So we'll go here and we'll check. So here it is. So what we're gonna do is like if you take a model, first what we have to do is we have taken a X model, right? So we have taken a model dot mock data. We are loading, but I'm removing this, the name model, I'm setting it to the normal. So we have, for bind rows, we'll be doing slash when it comes to XML. And how we gonna do it is slash, the last name, 
and we'll be directly binding it. So name and then we're gonna do it for the checked and then we're gonna do we are we are removing a name model, we are doing unnamed model when you do XML. That's a disadvantage in XML, that's the reason most of them use JSON. So we're gonna remove this. this rating so I'm going to save what I have done is I've taken a model new SAP UI model dot XML dot XML model and then I've done O model 2 dot load data I've loaded data from model dot mock JSON XML and then I have set model to O model 2 so that is O model 2 and then I have binded approach slash and I'm going to refresh this and once I refresh there is a checked of checkbox is expecting a string that is true but here it is a string so we'll go there and we'll see this control we'll command this and we'll see yeah it is coming so why it was not coming because checkbox it checked the value that is coming as a string so how do you check that is we will take a O model here also you can write the code that is new sap.ui.model.xml.xml model and you will be giving your directly you can give URL here so what it, what it was it is it was model slash mock data mock data.xml so it's m is small so once we do so here it is so we got the model and inside this we will be checking a data so that is o data once we check the o data this is the xml file for json it is completely different see the content type is xml so we are getting it so access is denied for the document because cookie cannot read the cookie so it's good so in this what you have to do is o model dot get property we want to get property of first last name we want to check this is the last name so what is the last name property sorry so there is null so n is small now we're going to check one second so one second we will check slash i think we have the last name as yeah, n capital, sorry. Yeah, n capital. So we're gonna do a n capital and c. So this is string. So that is the reason. Thank you for watching Etiopedia World. Stay tuned for more videos.